Hi, Ranger fans and any other fans who might be out there. I'm Eric Nadell, the Texas Rangers announcer, and today I'd like to talk about Nolan Ryan's 5,000th strikeout. Of course, Nolan was the first man ever to reach 5,000, but at the time, he was over 800 strikeouts ahead of Steve Carlton, uh, who had about 4,150, something like that. And Nolan needed six strikeouts to get to 5,000 on the 22nd of August, 1989. The Ranger PR department, led by the genius John Blake, had somehow created a major national media event out of this number 5,000. They had been building up to it for weeks, maybe months, really, since the season started. Nolan was having an incredible year. He was an all-star. He would go on to strike out 301 batters that year and win 16 games in his first game with the Rangers. On August 22nd, the Rangers were playing at home against the powerful Oakland A's, who would win the World Series that year. The game didn't start so well for Nolan. Ricky Henderson hit a double, but Nolan got through the first inning without allowing a run, picking up a strikeout. And wouldn't you know it, as we went into the fifth inning, Nolan was in sight of that sixth strikeout. I was lucky enough in those days to call the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings as my partner Mark Holtz did the rest of the game. Ricky Henderson, who had become strikeout number 4,998 a couple of innings earlier, came to the plate as the potential 5,000th strikeout, and Nolan blew him away with a 96-mile-an-hour fastball to get to 5,000. Honestly, I had given some thought previously to what I would say if I was fortunate enough to make that call, and I figured I would probably morph my baseball as history home run call into the 5,000 strikeout call, which I did, where I said strikeout number 5,000 is history for Nolan Ryan. What I didn't orchestrate in advance and had no idea would happen is that following the strikeout, when I was planning to just shut up for a minute or so and let the crowd tell the story, all the Rangers left their positions and came charging into the mound to congratulate Nolan, a sight I'd never seen on a baseball field before. So I didn't feel that on radio, where I'm there to paint the picture, I could very well just let the crowd roar when the Rangers were running from their positions to the mound. So I went through a brief description of what was going on there. Now what ensued in the rest of the game is what most people don't remember. The very next batter, Carney Lansford, hit a short fly ball to right field that many people thought should have been caught by Ranger right fielder Ruben Sierra. It was not caught. It fell in and was scored a single. The next batter, Jose Canseco, hit a line drive to center field that was dropped by Ranger center fielder Cecil Espy, allowing Lansford to score, which would turn out to be the winning run in the game, a game that the A's would win 2 to nothing behind Bob Welch. Well, wouldn't you know it, Nolan Ryan, that year, won 16 games, but it wasn't the game in which he got the 5,000 strikeout as one of his 16 wins. And Ruben Sierra, because he didn't catch that fly ball to right field, might have cost himself the American League MVP award, which was won by Robin Yount in a very close election. There were so many baseball writers at that game, so many camera crews at that game, who came away convinced that Ruben Sierra was not a good defensive right fielder, that it may very well have cost him the MVP. But among my Ranger memories, that 5,000 strikeout, which I was lucky enough to call, is one of my top five.